Hi everyone. Today we're going to read a new story that I just got in the mail. It's called Franklin's Neighborhood. I do love Franklin, don't you? Yeah, he's pretty special. Franklin could count by 10, count to 10 and back again and say the alphabet without stopping. He liked drawing pictures and he loved show and tell. So when Mr. Owl assigned the first project of the year, Franklin was ready. We live in a neighborhood, explained Mr. Owl. And our neighborhood is made up of houses and stories and gardens, said Snail. And a hospital, added Badger. Exactly, said Mr. Owl. Now for tomorrow, I want each of you to draw a picture of what you like best about our neighborhood. What do you like best, asked Franklin. Mr. Owl thought for a moment. The school, he replied. Everyone laughed. Of course, he'd say that, wouldn't he? Yeah. When Franklin got home, he hurried to his room. Do you want a snack, asked his mother. No, thanks, said Franklin. I have a project to do. Franklin took out his crayons and some paper, then he sat down to think. He thought about the ice cream store, then the bicycle trail, then the soccer field. Franklin sighed. Choosing the best thing about his neighborhood was not going to be easy. He likes a lot of things about his neighborhood. Franklin went to find his mother. Can I have that snack now, please? He asked. I think my brain is hungry. But after three fly cookies and two glasses of milk, Franklin still hadn't decided what he liked best. Why don't you go for a walk around the neighborhood, suggested his mother. That might help, said Franklin. He got his paper and crayons and off he went. He put them in a little box, a little box, right? That's got his paper and his crayons in it. That way, if he sees something special he wants to draw, he'll be ready. Franklin met Beaver in the meadow. I finished my project, Beaver announced. I picked the library and I went there right after school to draw my picture. Franklin thought about story time with Mrs. Goose, the librarian. That's a good idea, said Franklin. Maybe that's what I'll draw. He waved goodbye and headed for the library. Franklin was sitting on the library steps when Fox came by. Have you finished your project, asked Fox. Franklin shook his head. I was gonna draw the library, but on the way here, I saw the movie theater. I can't make up my mind. I chose the fire station, said Fox. Franklin remembered the time Chief Wolf let him sit in the fire truck. That's a good idea, Franklin said. Maybe that's what I'll draw. He collected his paper and crayons and set off. Have you ever sat in a fire truck? Pretty exciting. Franklin was outside the fire station when he saw a moose. Have you finished your project, asked Moose. No, Franklin sighed. I was gonna draw the fire station, but on the way here, I saw other places I liked just as much. I like the pond best of all, said Moose. Franklin thought about swimming and skating with his friends. That's a good idea, Franklin answered. Maybe that's what I'll draw. He said goodbye and headed for the pond. So they spend lots of time in the pond, don't they? Look, they're swimming in the summer and skating in the winter. Franklin was staring at the water when Bear came along. What's the matter, asked Bear. I can't decide what to draw for my project, said Franklin. I like too many things. My best place is the berry patch, said Bear. Franklin thought about all the times he and Bear had picked berries together. See, said Franklin, another great idea. What about the park, Bear suggested. Franklin thought about playing with his friends on the swings and slide. That's it, declared Franklin. He said goodbye to Bear and hurried off. Do you think he's gonna pick the park? I don't know. Franklin's mother found him sitting alone on the teeter-totter. Did the walk help, she asked. Not really, replied Blank Franklin. There are so many great things in our neighborhood. Franklin's mother gave him a hug. Let's go home and talk, she said. I made your favorite supper. Franklin grinned. At least I know what that is. 
Franklin felt a bit better after broccoli soup and fly pie. I, I'm ready to think again, he said. Then he asked his parents what they liked best about the neighborhood. I like the farmer's market on Saturday morning, said his mother. Franklin smiled. He loved farmer rabbit's sweet peas and farmer squirrel's fly brownies. And I like belonging to my chess club, said his father. Franklin agreed. He liked belonging to the chess club too. There's so many nice things for them, isn't there? Then Franklin remembered something. Is it true that Mr. Heron is moving, he asked. Mr. Heron was the president of the chess club. Yes, it's true, replied Franklin's father. I'm going to miss him very much. This neighborhood won't be the same without him. Franklin nodded. He was gonna miss Mr. Heron too. Suddenly Franklin knew what he wanted to draw. I know what I like best, he said. Franklin ran to his room and started working. What do you think he's gonna draw? At school the next day, everyone was excited. It was time to see the projects. Raccoon went first. I drew the river, he said. See his river? Oops. I drew the forest, said Hawk. Finally, it was Franklin's turn. He unrolled a huge sheet of paper. It was covered with drawings of almost everyone that Franklin knew. I don't get it, said Beaver. Franklin smiled. I drew my neighbors, he said. That's what I like best about my neighborhood. Now look at all the neighbors that he drew. Yeah. He drew fox and raccoon and the fire chief and Mr. Heron, all kinds of his neighbors, yeah. What do you like best about your neighborhood friends? Do you like the park? Mm. And the playground? Yeah, that's cool too. You like going on the bus? Great. And the fire station? Mm. Oh, and the farmer's market, yeah. And all your neighbors? That's terrific. Yeah, I love lots of things about my neighborhood too. It would be very hard to pick. All right, have a great day, friends. Maybe I'll see you around my neighborhood. All right, bye-bye.